Jared here, getting ready for our first ever ACE blacktop. I want to put this thing together, man, because I want to give our kids an opportunity to come out and compete and play, but do it in a safe environment. You know, obviously out here in California, we're not able to do as much as we would like to do, man. So I want to make sure that we gave our kids an environment to come out and play, do it safely, um, be able to hang out and see each other. And I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how it all goes. Um, but ultimately for me, man, this is all about their mental health and making sure that they stay mentally healthy and give them an outlet, but try to do it in the framework of the rules and keeping everything safe. And um, again, I'm just looking forward to seeing how it goes, man. So I'll check in with you guys when this thing is over and let you know how we do. Aggressive, aggressive. Push, 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 push. Pass. Pass. BG! Now time. Oh, oh, good move. I have to play defense. This isn't playing defense. I'm looking at you and I'm looking at you right now. This is not you. This is not playing defense. So if we're not going to play, just go home. It's that simple. You have to play. You guys make, oh, we want to play, we want to play. And we're not playing. You got to play. Hey, three, one, right? Pace, pace, run with him. Come on, E. Boy, tired. Small. Three minutes. That's seven. Move, Christy. Just got back from our first HCE Blacktop, man, and uh, I thought it went well. I mean, obviously it was great for the kids, man, to see the smile on their face and see how happy it was for them to actually be out there playing the game that we all love. But, you know, that's the most important thing, just seeing how happy it was. Now, in terms of the basketball part, timing was off. Obviously, reads were off a little bit. Uh, conditioning is way off. 
But that thing comes with rhythm and with time and with playing more. So, you know, I know it's going to take them a couple of weeks to get themselves back into rhythm and, and back into actual basketball shape. But the skill work that they've been putting in, you can see, has, has, has helped them. Um, they're better um, in terms of the skill work, in terms of, of trying to apply the skill early on in the scrimmages. But again, once they're conditioning, um, kind of caught up to them, you know, legs going to go, your shots are short. A lot of your finishes are going to be a little off. Uh, contact, being able to absorb contact was obviously going to be off because they haven't done a lot of playing stuff. But, again, that stuff comes. Uh, the biggest thing we try to do in this pandemic is build the skill and get the skill up as much as we can. Um, and then, obviously, we get back to some type of playing. They've gotten better in terms of the skill aspect. But, like I told you guys before, man, the biggest thing for me was mental health. And... That's the biggest thing it should be for a lot of these coaches and trainers, man. Just getting these kids in a position where they're able to play the game they love safely um, for their mental health and, and for the enjoyment and the love of the game. So that's all I got for y'all, man. Um, day in the life. Blessing to be here. Thankful to have my episode today. So I appreciate you guys and you keep tuning in. Take care.